please like and subscribe. Welcome everybody to another episode of the gas station. I'm your host, Big Bear, and we're riding Little Red Rob them hoods today. And this is the ride vlog episode one. Hope you hopefully you guys like it. Uh, this is a pretty interesting time right here, right when I jump on the freeway. I almost get lit up. Check it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Another close one. She know how we do it. Better hit that fucking gas. We're gonna be hitting the 101, heading north to Ventura Avenue, good friend's house. And uh, from there, we're gonna be hitting going to Ojai, uh, the back roads through Santa Paula, and uh, up around Upper Ojai. And then uh, we'll come back down hit the brewery and uh yeah we're gonna be hanging out so stay tuned you know i'm doing 100 and plus miles an hour right here that's how we do it So I've been turning up my bike. The thing is fucking hot. I mean, it's running real good. I'm starting to hear a little bit of tick though. I think it's coming from my muffler. I think it's cracked inside the Thunderheader. But that's another story. I got an extra Thunderheader I'm gonna put on. But I'll be doing that soon. You know, you gotta watch out on these freeways, 101, 405. Go from 100 miles an hour to zero pretty quick. So that's kind of what happened around that corner. See them red brake lights, you better check yourself. Now we're back up and running again. I was, I was wishing that I had uh, my audio set up for the wind, but it sounded like crap, so. My next ride, I know better. I'll have the windsock on and uh, my settings set right for the GoPro and the wind. And uh, we'll go from there on the next one. Right here, I'm just cop checking. They like to jump right there on Seaward, hang out, try to bust people. You know me though, I'm Dara. I, I only slow down to 90. Back to 100 plus. This is a winter day in California right here. Absolutely beautiful day. Shout out to all you bad motherfuckers watching this shit too. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for all you subscribers subscribing lately, giving me motivation to do this shit more. So this one is for you guys. Thank you very much, you bad motherfuckers. I usually don't split lanes on the right, but cop check. They like to hang out over there too. Bye, excuse me. Six gear pin. Nah, probably not. Half throttle.
This is the fastest that I went all day. You know, 100, 105, 110, just cruising. We didn't really do that with the click. We are all having soda pops anyway, so probably wasn't the smartest thing. Just throwing the crews down. up right here this is uh this is kind of where i'm from the avenue uh, i grew up down here this is the west side of ventura you don't want to be walking these streets at night unless you got family members from there Seems like I ride more in the winter time than I actually do in the summertime. Absolutely gorgeous day to be riding. It's a little cool later on in the evening, but man, you can't beat this weather in the winter time. 60, 65. I wasn't wearing no sweatshirt. Just chilling. You know what we gotta do, we gotta turn off the camera. We can't be bringing you guys to the location. You never know what kind of fucks is out there watching this shit. See, I let the sound go on of the wind just to show you guys. I mean, we are doing 10 miles an hour right here, so that wind really tears up that camera when you don't have that wind sock on. But, for next time, Right? I'll get that handle. I actually wrecked my motorcycle at this gas station right here. Maybe that's a story for another time, but I was heading left, going left right here, but I was going down. Uh, where that car just passed, I was going that way, and a truck pulled out right here where we're pulling out. And he stopped in the middle lane, and then looked at me, and then jumped into the lane and went into the gas station. I couldn't do nothing but lay my bike down. I was doing about 50. I mean, I think I was doing 50. Or speed limit, whatever that was, right? Bounced my head off the vehicle. My bike ended up inside of that metal pole that guards the gas. And uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. But I still got up, told no ambulance, and I went to a party that night. Uh, it's December 16th, 2016, I believe. Or 2018, yeah. December 16th, 2018. It took me about a year and a half to get my bike back together. And uh, it was scary just getting on the bike because I hadn't been on one for so long. Luckily, I got my ass back on. And um, ever since, just been building the bike even better and doing rides. Now, I'm gonna start filming them, putting them out for you guys. Thinking about doing a canyon run this weekend, or maybe this week, tomorrow's my birthday, so happy birthday to me, February 10th. And uh, maybe I'll go on a ride tomorrow, maybe I'll be with the family, who knows. But, I'll be doing some canyon rides, some races with the fellas. I'm 2 and no. I mean, I don't want to pat myself on my own back or nothing, but everybody be calling me out. We 
got some bad motherfuckers though in Ventura. There's some fast ass bikes. If you're thinking about racing your whole clique of people, this is the place to be calling people out. You guys want to come to Ventura and try to race? I'm telling you, we got some bad fucking bikes. And even better, we all grew up riding. Some of us are a lot more better than the other ones. Uh, There's a couple of people right here that can throw wheelies for a long time. But I'm not the best wheelier. I just built the bike to go fast. This guy just threw a sick one, but I didn't catch that was it. Sick. I wish I would have had my camera on. <laughs> there was a bunch of girls in the car next to us. Of course, the boys had to throw a couple wheelies. And of course, I didn't have my camera on. I know for next time. Just don't turn the motherfucker off. So now we're on the back roads. East End, Ventura. We're headed up to Santa Paula. This is a beautiful road right here. All lemon orchards, orange, uh, Limonera Ranch. We're going all past these ranches right here. Nice spot though. I used to ride this road almost every morning before I had my motorcycle license and I was going to work. Not trying to convict myself or nothing, but that's just some hearsay shit, right? Again, if you're still watching, shout out to you bad motherfuckers, huh? I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. We're gonna have some good shit coming up. Promise. There was a shitload of small rocks right here up on the road. And I have a new paint job. My bike was getting splattered. So I, I dropped back. I dropped back. This road's real mellow though. It's mostly straight, but good view. Especially after a good rain. There'll be snow and shit on the mountains sometimes. I was tripping on my camera. I'm looking at it in the rearview mirror. And I noticed it had like a little wrench on it coming up here shortly. So I had to take the camera off my helmet. I thought I was gonna have to change the battery, but then it, it ended up, I only had like half of the battery was gone. So I know for next time, you know, 15, 20 minutes, change the battery put a different one in right here I take it off thought it was messed up but Stay in there. Be 
before this ride, I checked my tire gauge, or I checked my tires with the gauge. I only had 20 pounds PSI in both tires. So I forked it up to the back one, about 40, 41. Front one, about 38. And obviously the bike ran a lot better. We had a pretty good scare on this ride coming up here. We're dipping out. And I know for next time I gotta have my camera up a little bit higher. Sorry about that. Won't happen again. I was hitting my throttle because when I get to a certain bog point and then I hit my throttle, I was hearing a rattle. So I was tripping out for the next like 15 minutes and then I said, fuck it. I just changed my oil pump again. So I'm thinking, I hope it's not my oil pump again. I really don't want to tear my bottom end apart. But if it does get messed up, the oil pump is probably my crank at this point. It's a brand new SNS crank, so I was bummed on that. Here's the turn. Five, four, three, two. Oh, my bad. It's coming up right here. But if you suspect there's oil coming out of your bike, get the fuck out of the way. Stop. This guy had oil leaking for like the past two or three miles, maybe two miles. Luckily, homie knows how to ride dirt bikes like a motherfucker. I mean, he rides, so you can obviously see in his stance he caught that motherfucker. Luckily, the tire was still oily. He was able to snap that thing back. Maybe it wasn't by choice, but at least he didn't hit that fucking gravel or anybody else. Yeah, this is where I'm tripping on my bike now. You see my throttle hands. I'll hit it just to see if it, it does like a little grrr, like a metal, like real quick. And I'm like, man, what is that? I'm pretty sure it's my pipe though, because when I knock on it, like knocking on a door, it kind of makes a little rattle on the inside. So I believe that's where it's coming from. I'm, I'm hoping. Also, I'm hoping it's not my springs or anything crazy because I got my bike turned the fuck up with the timing and the, the fuel. And uh, yeah, I've been playing with it myself. Not the smartest thing, but I can tell when my bike's running good and what it needs, a little fuel, a little less fuel. I can tell my bike needs a little less fuel down low. And then, um, different gear positions I need to adjust it instead of it being just uh, RPMs I need to change it in like different gears so first gear does this second gear does that third gear does that I need to go to a, a, a pretty high-tech shop that we could sit there for a minute and get a couple good good loads going for my bike as far as I'm doing now I just put a tune in that I think that I'll like and then I'll go race somebody. And my bike lifts up in third gear. So, uh, you know, first gear, second gear. By the time I'm out of almost second, clicking into third, I'm doing probably 60 miles an hour. And I can get the tire just to pop up off the ground at that speed. So it's got some fucking power, I can tell you that much. But we're on the back road right here. This is Upper Ojai, beautiful place. I used to work right here next to this corner that we're just going around. I used to do water wells up here, work on all kinds of famous people's houses, um, 
Cheech Marie, Ed Qualcheck, fucking, it's been such a long time, but those are a couple of people that I remember. Oh, that dude from uh, I Dream a Genie that passed away probably, he had like 10 heart surgeries, that dude. Um, yeah, I like this area, it's a great area. Beautiful up there. There's a lot of deer in this grass field, so, you know. Sometimes I was looking for them, but I didn't see any on this day. They're probably hanging out under the shade tree. If you've ever been on this road right here, riding your bike, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this road. You think about these corners coming up. This is Denison Grade. This is a pretty fun road. I've raced down this thing with my skateboard before quite a few times. I used to love going down this road. I tell people, just drop me off, drop me off. And just start hitting it with my skateboard. It's a fun one. I do have the camera fast forwarded a little bit because, I mean, it would be too long of a ride, but we were getting it anyways. It was fun. You should see on the days where we don't have somebody, a woman or anything on the back of the bike, these fellas are getting it. Kind of scary getting it. I, I have to drop back like, yo, you guys are fucking crazy. You guys act like we got nine lives and shit. We do some tight ass corners like this doing about 60 miles an hour and both the people are right next to each other, tight. Sometimes it gets too much. I just want to drop back a little bit. I want the whole road to myself. But, you gotta be pretty talented. Keep it the fuck together, that's for sure. This is the basin of Ojai, California. You can see me throttling it. I'm trying to listen to my, what the fuck is going on with my bike, but. So we're gonna be heading into Ohio Brewery right here. Grab a couple soda pops. We're gonna lose one rider and the one that has oil leaking. And we're gonna gain quite a few. So this spot's pretty good if you're looking for some decent food. They don't have the best, but if you're looking for some decent food, lunchtime, and you have uh, uh, a taste for exotic beers, they have the whole list of them. They have a pretty good list. It ain't all of them, but guaranteed you'll find something there that you like.
they come out and say you can't drink in the parking lot, well, good. we'll go back inside. I'd be tripping if I didn't have a bike. Is it under the Yeah, he's like, thanks for that. He didn't really appreciate that. So we lost a couple, three riders, and we gained quite a few others. That was a hut. We stopped by, had a couple soda pops, had some food. They called the food truck, came out to the food, uh, got some fried zucchinis there. Uh, I wasn't real, uh, I didn't really like the ranch very much. It was practically mayonnaise, but it is what it is. It was good for what it was. Those zucchinis were hot as a motherfucker. There's a 5-0 right here at the light, to the left. But we're gone. I think they were on our heels all the way out of town, but at least they didn't mess with us. We're in Oakview, California. Beautiful spot right here. Small little town. A lot of good motherfuckers here. Good motherfuckers, bad motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about. Again, if you're still watching this shit, shout out to you bad motherfuckers. Thank you for supporting my channel please like and subscribe if you already have it but we're still on the cruise We're actually on our way to a clubhouse. Uh, I'm not gonna say any names or anything, but they had a big taco day, family. It was a good time. So that was kind of what we're doing. Coming up this next week, um, the club that I'm riding with right here, they're gonna be having a motorcycle uh, show competition. I don't know what that's gonna entail. I think I'm gonna bring my trailer out. We're gonna have a blast at the beach line the bikes up and we're gonna chill in the sun hopefully it's not raining but as of right now it looks like the weather is gonna be in the 60s and it's gonna be partly cloudy with no rain so that's when we come out and play I will be filming that too so hopefully you guys Go and watch next week, week's video because I'll be recording that. Hopefully have that up next week for you guys. This is Casita Springs that we're passing through right now. Never heard of Casita Springs? It's pretty historic. Do your history, check up on it.
guy that's riding next to me, he's got a badass fucking FXRP. And uh, he spent a couple years putting that thing together. And he's done everything, <laughs> everything under the sun to that thing. It looks amazing, sounds amazing. And it's a bad bike. He's a badass rider. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, but if you know him, you know him. He's a... Uh, He's a fucking good ass rider. There was probably four FXRs on this ride right here, maybe more. I'm pretty sure there was four of them. I think there might have been more though, but. The FXRs were running, but the one that was leaking, you know that was an FXR too. I ain't putting them down or anything, I'm just saying. So now we're back to the place that we started from. Uh, this is Ventura Avenue, the west side. And uh, we're about to head to the, to the clubhouse, have us a few tacos, some beers, soda pop spend some time with the family and friends it's a good day all in all again please like and subscribe if you already have it i appreciate you guys for being here shout out to you bad motherfuckers huh That's the winter loop in Ventura. Thank you again for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next one. The next one will be the bike show. Stay tuned for that. See you guys on the next one. Gas station out.